Okay, typically we will interface with our Arduino boards using MATLAB, uh, but of course this is not the way most people do it. Uh, the Arduino board can work autonomously. If you upload a, a sketch, and it'll take inputs, put out appropriate outputs. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how to do another basic sketch. We've already done the blinks example, but I also wanted to show you how to use the serial monitor. No. So I'm just going to open up the examples, basic, uh, let's do the fade example. So this one initiates a couple variables here. LED variable equals 9, that's going to be pin 9. Brightness starts out at 0, the fade amount is 5, so that's how much it'll increase in increments of 5 from 0 to 255. 255 is the highest amount you can send to an analog output pin. So we set the uh, pin mode for pin 9 to be an output instead of an input. And then in the loop for the Arduino board, so this is what it continually does over and over again. First thing we do is, is write the uh, the brightness so the first time it goes through this loop the brightness will be zero so it'll it'll it won't turn the LED on at all then the brightness increases by the fade amount and then if the brightness equals zero or the maximum 255 I should probably put less than zero or greater than 255 so that we could play with that fade amount then it reverses so it fades up and then it fades down and then it pauses for uh, 30 milliseconds. So to do this, we're going to have to uh, go over to Arduino board, go from ground to ground, to our ground column on our breadboard, go from pin 9, and then I'll just go into pin 20. Here's our LED. Remember that the long wire on the LED is the one that needs to get the, the higher voltage. So we will go from pin 20 to no, 18 there. And then because we don't want to put 5 volts through an LED, we're going to put this resistor in series with it. It's a 222, or 220 ohm resistor. It'll just go right from the short end of the LED to the uh, ground. Okay. So with that set up, I should be able to upload the program to the Arduino board. It's compiling the sketch. There we go. We can see the LED fading on and off. But when you are running without any uh, data coming back from the uh, Arduino board into MATLAB, it's nice to see sometimes what, what is going on. So I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, serial monitor. So in the setup, we're going to add this command serial dot begin. So this will open up communications with the serial port 960. That's the rate at which it communicates, which 960 is just fine. And then every time uh, we go through the loop, we will write serial print. We will write, uh, let's say i, which i is going to be the number of times that we go through this loop. So I'm going to have to declare a new variable i, and I'll have that equal to zero. And each time we go through the loop, i will equal i plus one. That's what that i++ plus plus means. It's basically the same as i equals i plus 1. So we're going to print i. And now this just prints that variable and then stops. So if I were to do that, it would print 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 right after the other. Instead, we want to do uh, print ln. And let's just put a period in uh, single quotes after it. So it'll print the number, a period, and then have a line return. So I'm going to upload this. Now nothing should change over on the Arduino board, but if we go into Tools, Serial Monitor, ah, it's writing it every time, which is not what we wanted. We want to put this, 
let's have it right every time let's have it right every time that it hits the max or the min and I'll upload that go into tools serial monitor Ah, but still, I gets I plus one every time it fades. Nevertheless, you can get the idea.